Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got a very interesting report that I just want to throw out there to you guys and uh, let you decide the information. Uh, but basically, a military source, which is a private online source for military capabilities uh, of the world's nation states, the site is known as Daigle. And if you've listened to me for years and you've, you, you're, you're, you're signed up on Restricted Republic, then you're already well aware uh, of what I might be hinting at. But Daigle, this military source, Source is saying that hundreds of millions of people here in the United States of America are going to die by the year 2025. And I've got information uh, that I want to share with you that's kind of adding to that. Uh, but before I do, I want to just remind you, get on over to Restricted Republic. Like I said, I share a lot of inside information about things that are going on. I've talked about Dago before on there, uh, but check it out at RestrictedRepublic.com. I've got so many videos on there, and this is the place I am going to be when everything gets shut down. So sign up now, and I'll go ahead and bring back up a freedom coupon that we had a while back. Uh, but you can get 24 months for $5 per month. Please use the code freedom to get that, but get to restrictedrepublic.com. But anyhow, uh, Daigle is the organization uh, that I've talked about for some time. But the reason that I want to bring it back up is because we're constantly hearing all of this talk about climate chaos. And now with all these COVID restrictions kind of lifting up a little bit or easing a little bit in some states, if you will, um, we are getting warnings, dire warnings uh, from the I. EA saying basically, oh, we can't go back to normal lifestyle. People are going going back to work and walking around in some states. And because of that, uh, we're having these massive increases in our carbon. And, and suddenly the world's going to explode and die. These are the kinds of warnings that we're getting. And of course, uh, Biden also issued a um, statement there saying that he was going to, well, basically cut carbon emissions by 50%. These are pretty, pretty uh, ambitious goals, if you will, but I think it, it it all could be tied in some way, shape, or form. Let me show you um, what I'm talking about here. Let's go first to this article here, and this is on CNBC. Now, this was back in April, but late April, but I want to bring it back up, but it's IEA issues dire warning on carbon's emissions. Says that COVID recovery is anything but sustainable. It goes on to say that this is a dire warning that the economic recovery from the COVID crisis is currently anything but sustainable for our climate. The report comes at the time when policymakers are under pressure to deliver promises of as part of the Paris Climate Accords, which Trump got out of and Biden re-signed us into. But Joe Biden um, held that virtual summit there on the climate emergencies, which he basically has that ambitious goal. And the ambitious goal is cut carbon emissions by 50 percent. But basically, this warning is is saying that um, we can't go back to normal lifestyle because our carbon emissions, uh, 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 everything's going up and, it, and it's going to close down the climate and the world's going to die in the whole nine yards. We've been hearing that the world's going to die from climate catastrophe, I don't know, for 100 years now, like literally. Uh, but either way. It's this kind of tension and stress and chaos that I think is literally adding to our bodies. And it's this kind of stuff that I warned about. I said they're going to scream climate chaos, they're going to scream climate emergency, and they're going to start using COVID-style restrictions to handle climate change agendas. And, and Biden has already said that that's something that he wants to do. And here we are. We have dire warnings and dire predictions. In other words, in order to save the planet, we should all lock ourselves in our homes. I don't know, maybe so so many days a week or so many times a month. I don't know. But it seems that these policies are here to stay. Okay, let me add a little bit more before I expand. Or, or let me just expand a little bit. If the policies like lockdown stay, right, it has been proven to mentally not only mess with our heads, but mess with uh, our stress levels and our stress levels increase because we're locked inside our homes and thereby it can cause a whole slew of health issues on the body. Just keep that in the back of your head. But here's the other thing that I want to bring back up is back in April, Biden unveiled a sweeping climate goal and plans to meet it even if Congress won't. And I don't know if he plans to do that through executive as action, through under the door, through forcing businesses to do certain stuff we don't really know yet, but it's the goal of the White House. He insists that the U.S. can meet it even if Congress doesn't or Congress rejects it. But basically, 
Joe Biden pledged, and this is back in April, to slash U.S. emissions of greenhouse gases in at least half, half, by 2030. This is not, this is really huge and ambitious, right? Really huge. And here we are. Uh, in June, okay? But anyway, really ambitious uh, uh, motivation there. But it um, will require, it says, an ambitious target that will require retooling the world's largest economy in an effort to put the U.S. at the forefront of the international campaign to slow climate change. He wants to be number one in handling climate change. Now, he actually did campaign on this, and it seems like he's following through on this particular promise, but very ambitiously and radically. And keep in mind, in my opinion, if he starts pushing stuff like this, this would collapse our economy. More than, I think, millions, tens of millions of people would be hit by the economic devastation on top of all the stress that we have with regard to COVID-19, the tensions on our bodies. Now millions of more people being put out of work because of climate ambitions. It's like one crisis on top of another crisis. How much? Can the American people handle? And I'm going to get into the Dago forecast after that, but imagine. And he's already starting to make move on these freaking ambitions. But what would something like that look like? How how would that ambitious goal that Biden talked about, what would it look like? Well, uh, dailymail.co.uk actually put something out on what they thought it could look like. Right here it is. How Biden's climate plan could limit you to eat one burger a month. It could cost you 3.5 a year per person in taxes and force you to spend 55,000 on an electric car and crush American jobs. Hmm. Now, obviously, they're not saying this has been passed or, or went through. They're saying this could be an ambitious goal or an example of, of what Joe Biden could do in order to get you to a 50 percent cut. Right. But it goes on. Joe Biden announced the goal to cut emissions, which I just showed you. He vowed the plan, which would set the U.S. on a path of zero emissions economy by no later than 2050. Right. And he claims it would boost jobs and economy. No, it wouldn't. It crushes jobs and crushes the economy. But he has yet to release any firm details on exactly how he's going to do that. Ergo, this is a way that you can meet such an ambitious goal. Zero net zero emissions. And he's really wanting this goal, kind of a goal by 2030. What does that look like, Joe Biden? Because it has to be something dramatic. It's not going to be something minor or small. It would have to be something dramatic. And I tell you what, this, is, this, is, this isn't going to cut it. Imagine if something like that were passed or put through one burger per person. I don't know about you, but that would devastate our bodies. God, or, God said, we eat meat. People eat meat. We have animals that are carnivores, lions, tigers, dogs, bears. I mean, come on. The human race is carnivores. If you want to be a vegetarian, great. But if you don't, that's fine too. <laughs> I mean, imagine now your meat becoming some kind of delicacy. You only get it. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they're going to do that, but this is the kind of ambition that they're talking about. Imagine again, the economic devastation and impact stuff like that would have. Millions would be hurting. Millions would be starving. Our bodies would be ripe for stress and allowing all kinds of health issues. Hospitals could get overloaded, that kind of thing. Meanwhile, we also have a climate czar, John Kerry, saying this, and this is dailymail.co.uk. Biden's climate envoy, John Kerry, says, we need to remove carbon dioxide from the air. <laughs> Wait, what? Wow, completely. Huh. I mean, we do breathe, right? We do breathe. Anyway, now let's get on over to this Daigle forecast. I have shown this to you before. Again, Daigle is a private online source for military capable capabilities of the world's nation states, right? So they're not a nobody. Not They're, they're not just some website posting stuff. It's just, it's interesting. It's interesting, but here's what they show. And this is just a reminder, if you're already on Restricted Republic, you know a lot, but on there, but here we have 2017, right? And you can see me highlight there. And the population in 2017 was 327 million people. Then they fast forward to the year 2025, right? Forecast for 2025. Now it's at 100 million people. 
327, down 100 million people. That's a huge drop. That's a huge drop. What's the reason that they give for this? Well, um, they kind of shoot about it in an overall way, but uh, I'm going to highlight this portion of it. And this is this is it right here. And this is what I want to focus on, but this is on their website. You can see I'm still on the Deagle site here and I and went to the archived file uh, so you guys can still see it there. But here's what they have to say. And this is the part I want to highlight. Before all this, they talk about a pandemic could break out, but they're not even calculating that into their numbers. And we all know that this was put out since I believe 2017 when Deagle put this out. They put this out before COVID, uh, just an FYI on that. But they go on to say that they didn't even include that in their model. What did they include in in their model. And this is kind of the highlight here. It says the collapse of the Western financial system will wipe out the standard of living of the population while ending the Ponzi schemes such as the stock exchange and pension funds. The population will be hit so badly by a full array of bubble and Ponzi schemes that the migration engine will start to work in reverse, accelerating itself due to ripple effects, thus leading to the dismiss of the states. The unseen situation for the states will develop itself in a cascading pattern with unprecedented and devastating effects for the economy. Jobs offshoring will surely end with many American corporations relocating, right, overseas to become foreign corporations. We see a significant part of the American population migra migrating to Latin America and Asia, while migration to Europe suffering similar illnesses won't be relevant. Nevertheless, the death toll will be horrible. Then it gets into talking about the Soviet, how they were starving, all all of that and also how a lot of the elderly population is dying across the country if you will so that's kind of their um breakdown on that but in a nutshell they're saying it's economy economic strife trouble and turmoil and um basically the dying off of populations and of course this is um not set in stone you know this, these aren't my words uh, I hope they're dead wrong, you know, come 2025. I, I think they will be wrong to a level, you know, but I don't know. I don't know anymore. It could be who knows what anymore. But it. what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of crazy stuff happening with the economy. We have these ambitious goals by Joe Biden that would only put more pressure on the American people and force jobs, maybe even, to go overseas, like what Daigle was talking about. Because if you put these ambitions on American countries and we're like one of the first people on it, what is that going to cause a lot of our businesses to do? To leave the country. They're going to want to leave the country and go elsewhere where they're not stipulated to death. And that's truly what's happening. And I think what's going to happen as a result, uh, if if Joe Biden is ambitious as um, I hope to goodness he's not uh, or he doesn't, but if he's ambitious as he's trying to be, as, as, as I'm hearing, then we could see some pretty massive devastation here in the United States of America. And it won't be land of the free, home of the brave anymore. It'll be land of the broke and hurting and stressed out and economically devastated if he does what he truly intends to do and has that ambitious goal of 50%. And that's why I wanted to bring it up in light of everything that's going on. But either way, I want to get your thoughts, your comments, your concerns on everything that's going on. Uh, check out some of the videos that I posted here on, on YouTube. You've got to see a lot of them. I've got lots of information there, uh, but so much is happening. And please comment. I do read your comments in the description box below. But with that, please make sure you get on over to noblegoldinvestments.com. Give them a call and talk to them. Uh, they've got really good advice on uh, your 401ks. You can convert your 401k into something backed by precious metals, gold, silver, that kind of thing. But it's one 646 5347 And it's personally something that I do and use myself. I have shown you guys um, some of the coins and stuff that I have here in, in my person. But um, lots of great things. I've, I've got my coins here and um, eagle, uh, my my gold coin here as well. I mean, I, I believe what I preach. So check it out. Give them a call. Take advantage of some of the things they have to offer you today at noblegoldinvestments.com. Anyhow, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out. <laughs>